morning, dear students. Good morning, ma'am. How are you all? We are fine, ma'am. Okay, very good. So let's start our class. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So yesterday night I was feeling hungry. So I have ordered one pizza for myself, and it was very delicious. Okay, and it has six pieces, but I have eaten only two pieces. So how many pieces are still left? What is the fraction? What is the fraction of pizza slices which are still left? Yes, Prisha. Four upon six. Four upon six. Very good. And what is the fraction of pizza slices I have eaten? Ma'am, two upon six. Two upon six. Very good. So now, can you tell me what have you observed in this fraction? What is the similarity in this in these fractions? Yes, Lavin. Ma'am, the similarity is they have same denominator. Very good. They have same denominator. Very nice. They have same denominator. When the fractions have same denominator, that means what do we call them? Yes, Rudra. Ma'am, uh, ma like fractions. Like fractions. Very good. So the fractions which have same denominator is called like fractions. Okay. Now let's see. The fractions here. Can you see this? Yes, yes ma'am. So this are which type of fraction? Like fractions. Like fractions. Why? Ma'am. Yes, Shashwat. Ma'am, because they have same denominator. Because they have same denominator. Okay. Now, can you see this flashcard? And can you see the fractions? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma what kind of fraction is this? It is written here. Unlike, Unlike fractions. fractions. Now, who is going to tell me why these fractions are unlike fractions? Yes, Riyansh. Um, because the denominators are different. Very good. Because the denominators are different. different. So, here the denominators are different. That's why they are called unlike, unlike fractions. fractions. Okay. So, the denominator, when the denominators are different, they are called unlike Okay. And this like fractions and unlike fractions. This type of fraction you have already studied. Okay. Now, let's study the different types of fraction which we are have like unit fraction. Proper fraction, improper fraction and mixed number. So, these type of four fractions we are going to study today. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see the video. So, let's write down the password. Okay. So, let's start. Okay. Now, let's see the video. On types of fraction. Okay. Ravi and Sheila are at a pizza outlet with their mother. Ravi's mother places an order for two veg pizzas. So Ravi's mother or has ordered one, two pizzas. Okay. She has given order for Two pizzas. Okay. You just you can sit down. Now let's see the video. She After has some given time, one order. The waiter serves the best pizza divided into six equal slices. He tell so how many pizza slices are there? Total pizza slices? Yes, six pizza slices are there. Okay. In one pizza, there are total six parts. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's Help them now. that the second pizza would be arriving shortly. 
Now the second pizza is arriving Mommy, shortly. Can I have three slices of pizza? Sure, my dear. Here you are. Now they have ordered for two pizza slices and one pizza has arrived. But still the second pizza is in waiting. Okay. So they are what they are doing? They are dividing the first pizza. pizza. Okay. Let's see. The number of pizza slices each one for you. will get. Okay. Two for Sheila and one for me. So can you see? Three pizza slices are, are for Ravi and two pizza slices are for Sheila and one for her mother. One for Sheila's mother. Okay. So, can you tell me what is the fraction of pizza slices in the first order of pizza? How many, what is the fraction of pizza slices Ravi got? Yes, Shashwat. And three upon six. Three upon six. Very good. Okay, Jayan, can you tell me what is the fraction of pizza slices Sheila got? 2 upon 6. 2 upon 6. Very good. Yes, Kushal, can you tell me what is the fraction of pizza slices her mother got? Then 1 upon 6. Very good. Now, let's continue with the video and see. But before you begin eating, can you tell me how you will represent the portion that you have on your plates as a fraction? So, you have already taken the fraction. Guess. I have two parts out of a total of six parts. So, that what is the fraction? I have two six of the pizza. You are right, Sheila. So, Sheila has got two pizza slices. Okay. So, but her mother is asking, what is the fraction? Then, Ravi, how would you represent the portion that you have as a fraction? Now, Ravi will represent... That how many pizza slices, what is the portion he has eaten. Okay. Mommy, I have three sixths of the pizza. While you are having one sixth of the pizza. So, have you all got to know that what fractions of each one has got? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Very good. So, now let's begin. Let's continue. Excellent. Video. But do you know what kind of fractions are these? Now she is asking that what kind of fractions are these? So, Ravi has got how much pizza? What, what is the fraction of Ravi's pizza slices? 3 upon 6. Six. What is the fraction of Sheila's pizza slices? 3 upon 2 upon 6. Two upon six. And her mother's? One upon six. One upon six. Very good. Okay. So you have seen. Now can you see that one upon six? Yes. One upon six means? One upon six is representing the unit fraction. This is the type of? Unit, unit fraction. fraction. Okay. What do you mean by unit fraction? What do you mean by unit fractions? Fractions having 1 in the numerator is called unit, unit fractions. fractions. Okay. Now, you can see that I have ordered this pizza and I have eaten only one pizza slice. So, what is the fraction of pizza slice I have eaten? Yes. Vartika. 1 upon 6. 1 upon 6. Very good. So, can you see that 1 upon 6 is the? Answer that I have taken the portion. Uh, what is the fraction of my portion? 1 upon 6. And it is same like her mother 1 upon 6. Okay. Now can you see this wooden blocks? There are 3 blocks. Okay. Now what is the fraction of pink block? Yes. Aditya. Ma'am. 1 upon 3. 1 upon 3. So, 1 upon 3 is a? Unit fraction. Unit fraction. Okay. So, in the fraction, if the numerator is 1, so it is called? Unit, unit fraction. fraction. Is it clear? Yes. yes so, unit fraction is clear to everyone? Yes. Show me your thumbs up. Very good. Okay. 
Now, let's continue with the video. Now, can you see the portion of fraction of Ravi and Sheila? Okay. Now, what is the fraction of Ravi? Ravi's pizza slices, which he has eaten? 3 by 3 6. Three three by six. By six. six. And what is the fraction of Sheila's pizza slices? 2 by 6. So, what have you observed in these two fractions? The numerator is smaller than denominator. denominator. Okay, now let's see the video and the concept will be more clear to you. Okay. Hello, mommy. Could you explain? 2 6, 3 6 and 1 6 are all known as proper fractions. Yes, the unit fraction is also known as proper fraction because still the numerator is smaller than denominator. You can see that 2 is 2 is the numerator and 6 is the denominator. Here 3 is the numerator and 6 is the denominator. 1 is the numerator and 6 is the denominator. So what you have observed that all the numerators are smaller than denominator. So, it means when the numerator is smaller than denominator, it is called proper, proper fraction. fraction. Okay? It is called proper fraction. So, repeat after me. When the numerator is smaller than denominator, it is called proper, proper fraction. fraction. Very good. I hope it is clear to everyone. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Okay. Now, let's continue with the video. As their numerators are smaller than their denominators. For example, in the fraction 2 6, the numerator 2 is smaller than the denominator 6. Now, let's learn the second type of fraction that is. In the meantime, the waiter arrives with the second veg pizza that is again divided into 6 slices. Now, wow, the yummy pizza is arrived. The second yummy pizza is arrived. So, let's see the slices. Ravi will take, Sheila will take and her mother will take. Okay. And then we will find out the improper fraction. Okay. Let's see. I'm not too hungry. So, I guess I'll have just one slice of the second pizza. Mummy, these pizzas look so appetizing. I could eat a few more slices. So, what you okay, can Rami. see Here. that Sheila is still hungry. So, she said that I can eat one more pizza slice. And Ravi is saying that I am feeling very much hungry. So, I can take more pizza slices. So, let's see the video. Let's continue. With Just the four more slices for you. One for Sheila and one, one for me. her mother. Again, but her mother has taken one more pizza slice. Okay. Now, I have seven slices of pizza. I am going to enjoy. So, how much Ravi has taken? How many, how many pizza slices Ravi has taken? Yes, be who? Um, seven. Seven pizza slices. Very good. Yes, Ru Rufani? Yes. Now, can you tell me what is the fraction of pizza slices Ravi has eaten? Ma'am? Yes. Seven. Seven. Very good. Seven is the number of pizza slices he has eaten. Now, can you see... That there are six pizza slices in one pizza. Okay. But how many he has eaten? Seven pizza slices. So when they have ordered the another pizza, so how many pizza slices he has eaten? One. He has Seven. taken four. So out of the first pizza, three. Ravi has taken one her mother and two Sheena. Okay. And in the second round, three Ravi has taken and two Sheila, one Sheila has taken and one 
Mother one more mother has taken and how many Rabi has taken four pizza slices okay so earlier Rabi has taken three pizza slices Sheila has taken two pizza slices and her mother has taken one pizza slice okay then now in the next pizza uh, next pizza Rabi has taken four pizza slices Rabi has taken four, four pizza slices her mother has taken one and Sheila has taken one. Okay. Now, can you see? Can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Seven pizza slices. Okay. So, six pizza slices are making one whole pizza. Six pizza slices are making one, one whole, whole pizza. pizza. So, that means Ravi has eaten one full pizza. Yes, he has eaten one full pizza and one part from the next pizza. Basically, he has eaten one part from the next pizza. Yes. So, out of the second pizza slice, second pizza order, he has taken one more. So, what is the fraction of the next pizza? One by six. One by six. One by six. Rabi has eaten. One now, one Rabi one. has taken seven whole, seven parts. So, Rabi, R, R, R. So, six, that means six pizza slices are making one whole pizza. So, he has eaten one whole pizza. And out of the, if you see, so you can see that he has taken one pizza more, one pizza slice from the another one. So, that is representing one upon six. Okay. Is it clear? Now let's see the video. Boy, my meal. Look at the video. You seem to be in a hurry, my son. Let me see if you can express the number of slices that you have now as a fraction. So what do you think? I have seven slices of pizza now. He has taken seven slices of pizza. But let's see. What fraction he is going to speak? As each pizza was divided into six equal parts, I have seven such parts. So, total equal parts in one pizza slice is six. That's why the denominator is six. Okay. And one whole pizza has six pizza slices. Okay. Now, let's see. But that isn't a proper fraction. Right, mommy? But that is not a proper fraction. You are right, my okay. child. That is an improper fraction as the numerator is larger than the denominator. So you can see that uh, this fraction, in this fraction, 7 upon 6 is the fraction of part which Ravi has eaten. Okay. So now 7 upon 6 is the fraction of pizza slices which Ravi has eaten. Okay. Okay. Now, can you observe the numerator and denominator? Yes, ma'am. The numerator is greater than denominator. denominator. The numerator is greater than denominator. denominator. And when the numerator is greater than denominator, that fraction is called improper fraction. Okay, that fraction is called improper fraction. Okay. Is it clear to everyone? Yes. So, when numerator is smaller than denominator, that fraction is called? Proper fraction. Proper fraction. And when the numerator is greater than denominator, that is called? Improper fraction. Yes. So, once again, repeat after me. Numerator is smaller than denominator. That means it is called? Proper fraction. Yes. And when the numerator is greater than denominator, Improper. then it is called? Improper fraction. Yes, it is called? Improper fraction. Okay, is it clear to everyone? Yes. Okay, now let's see the next concept that is mixed number. I can see that. Mixed I have fraction. an entire pizza and an additional slice. Exactly. You have one and one sixth of a pizza. So, I have explained this part that he has taken one whole pizza 
and one part of the next pizza. So that is representing, he has eaten one whole part and one upon six part he has eaten from the next pizza. Okay, so one is the whole number and can you see one upon six, which type of fraction is Unit this? fraction. It is a unit fraction and also a proper, proper fraction. fraction. So a mixed number is the combination of a natural number and proper, proper fraction. fraction. Mixed number and mixed number is the combination of natural number, number and proper, proper fraction. fraction. We can say that natural number or and proper, proper fraction. fraction. Okay. Now, let's see the video. This is known as a mixed fraction. Because the fraction is made up of a whole number and a proper fraction. Can you see? Have you seen? But how do you convert an improper fraction to a mixed fraction? Now, let's That's stop simple. there. We will learn the conversion in the next class. Okay. But before that, let's learn. Let's learn more about type of fraction with the help of this video game okay with the help of this game okay now let's see okay can, now i want answer from you now can you see yes can you see this level now the fraction here is given two three upon four so how many whole numbers are there how many Whole numbers are there. <coughs> two. two. So, what we will do? We will add two circles. Okay. And I am going to add one more. So, two circles are there. And how many equal parts are there in one circle? Four. four. So, what we will do? We will divide the fraction into four equal parts. Like this. Okay. Can you see? So, this is making one whole part. Now, let's see. This is the second whole part. This is the second, second whole, whole part. part. Okay. So, what we will do, what we can see that one. So, what is the fraction of this one? What is the fraction of this one? This is one and this is two upon four. So, which one is the correct option? Nothing. So, that means... 1, 2 upon 4 is the fraction of this type of figure. Can you see 1 whole number and 2 upon 4 is the 2 upon 4 is the fraction of this figure. Okay, so what is the mixed number forming? What is the mixed number forming here? 1, 2, one, two, one, two, two upon two. 4. Very good. Now let's see the next example. Now let's see. Okay, let me use my password again. It's okay. We can use the password. We can log in again. It's okay. Okay. Now let's come back to the video. Yes, we are doing types of fractions. And we have this video and we will go to the tools and we will play a game once again. Okay, wait. We are going to play a game. Wait, wait. Now, let's see. Now, I want to make a... Now, can you tell me what is the... What type of fraction is this? Raise your hands. Yes, Kavya. What type of fraction is this? Mom, proper fraction. Proper. How? Mom, because the denominator is uh, big and the numerator is small. Very good. So, 4 upon 5 is a proper fraction. Very good. Well done. Okay. Now, let's see the next example. So... Now, let's see. Now, what is the fraction of the cake here? What is the fraction of cake left in this? 
figure. Yes. Kushabr, what is the fraction? Map. Map proper fraction. Okay, yes, it's a proper fraction, but here it is written what type of fraction? By One upon fraction. five. By so proper fraction. fraction is also sometime. Proper fraction is also sometime unit fraction. Okay. So yes. So proper fraction is a sometimes it is also called a unit fraction. Okay. Now let's see some more examples. Now let's see, play this game. Now, yes, look here. Now, can you see this figure? Yes, ma'am. So, how many whole parts are there? How many whole parts are there? Four. Three. 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 Yes. Three. So, we will write three here. And how many? What is the fraction of the, of the last figure? What is the fraction of the last figure? Yes, Shashwat? 5 upon 6. 5 upon 6. So we will write 5 here and 6 we will write here. Okay, so 3, 5 upon 6 is the mixed number. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. It is a mixed number. Yes, and we can see that this is the combination of this is the combination of natural number and proper fraction. Okay. Now let's see the next figure. What is the whole number here? Yes. What is the whole number here? Now can you see the next figure? Ma'am, the whole number is one. Look at this one. Red one. What is the whole number, Lavin? Ma'am, two. Two. Very good. So two is the whole number here. And what is the left, uh, what is the fraction of the third figure? Yes, Vartika. No, I am asking the colored part. See the colored parts. Ma'am, 4 upon 2. 4 upon 6. See, 1, 2, 3, 4 and total parts is 6. So, what we will do? We will write 4 upon 6. So, 2 4 upon 6. Okay. So, the fraction of this part is 2, 4 upon 6. Okay. Now, let's see the next game. And that is, let's get back. Okay. Now, let's do the quiz. Okay. Now, let's see the quiz. Which of the following is an improper fraction? 1 upon 9, 8 upon 9, 9 upon 8 or 3 upon 8. Okay, so what in what do you think? Which is the improper fraction? Yes, Rupina. Ma'am. Which is the correct option? Ma'am, 9 upon 8. Very good. 9 upon 8 is the improper fraction. Very good. Now let's see whether the answer is correct or not. Wow, well done. Correct answer. Very nice. Now look at the next question. Which of the following is the... Now, 5 upon th 13 is read as 13 fifths, 5 thirteens, 5 of 13 and 5 with 13. Yes, Prisha, what is the answer? Um, we had 5 thirteens. 5 13s. Very good. B part is the answer. 5 thirteens. Very nice. Well done. Clap for Prisha. Now look at the next question. What fractions of natural numbers from 23 to 37, both numbers inclusive is even? So in between 23 and 37, how many even numbers are there? Yes, how many even numbers are there? Between 23 and 37, 24. Then find out. Who is going to tell me the answer of this question? 8 upon 15 is the right answer. 7 upon 18, 7 upon 15 or 11 upon 16. See, the, how many even numbers are there? Count the even numbers. And what are the total numbers from 23 to 37? 
Who is going to tell me the answer? Shashwat. Ma'am, 7 upon 15. 7 upon 15. Okay. Is it a correct answer? Tell me. Let's check. 7 upon 15. Let's check. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Well done. Right answer. Clap for Shashwat. Very nice. Now, let's do, see the next question. That is 5. Now, this is a conversion part, so we will not take this question. Now, which of the following correctly represents 3 upon 7? Which of the figure is representing 3 upon 7? Yes. Yes, Pranshul. Ma'am, first A part. Very good. A part. Very nice. Well done. So, yes. This is the right answer. No. Ma'am, I have I have that first. So, but it is showing that 3 upon 7 is this, but this one is correct. It is no, upon, it, it is 3 upon 8. So, this is not the correct answer. It's okay. Sometimes we have given right answers and sometimes we give wrong answers. Okay. And with our mistakes, we learn. Okay. So, it's okay. Okay. Now, let's see the next question. That is, which of the following correctly represents 4 upon 9? So, which of the following represents 4 upon 9? Yes, Prisha? And B part. B part. Very good. So, this is the right answer. Very nice. Well done. Now, let's see the next question. Which mixed fraction does the below model represent? Yes. Who is going to answer this question? Yes, who is going to answer this question? Bartika. Mm -hmm. B part is the correct answer. B part is the correct answer. How can you say? No, it is not the correct one. See, this is one whole. But there are how many parts? One, two, three, four. So what is the correct answer? C. C. Okay, let's check out C. Yes, right answer. Clap for Kushagra Bansar. He has given this answer. Now look at the next question. Which mixed fraction does the below model represent? Now this is representing one whole. And what does it this represent? So with the help of this you can find out. Can you see the half part is shaded? The half, half portion is shaded. So, the answer of this part is Prisha. One, one upon two. One, one upon two. Can you explain? Yes, ma'am. Yes. One because one, first figure is whole color. So, Very good. representing one. And the another figure has 16 parts and 8 are shaded. And the 8 is the half, half of 16. So we Very good. Well done. Prisha, very nice. Now, this is also a conversion part. Which of the following is a proper fraction? Which of the following is a proper fraction? 3 upon 8, 13 upon 5, 4, 2 upon 3 or 9 upon 5? Yes, Kavya. Mommy, 3 upon 8. Very good. Very nice. So, this is the right answer. Now, let's see the last question. So, with what fraction does the unshaded portion represent in the figure? Unshaded portion. Remember, listen to the question carefully. Unshaded portion. Yes, Anveshi. What is the answer of unshaded portion? Quickly tell me. No, don't speak the answer. Wait for your turn. No, I am saying unshaded portion. Listen to the question carefully. No, 5 is the shaded one. No, miss it out. Okay, let's give the chance to that another child. Yes, Adibyam. 
Very good. 3 by 8 is the right answer. Can you see the unshaded portion? 1, 2, 3. So 3 by 8 is the right answer. Very good. Well done, Divya. Very nice. Okay. Now, dear students, we have learned type of fractions, which is first we have learned unit fractions, which, which means when the fraction is having 1 in the numerator, it is called unit fraction. And when the numerator is smaller than denominator, it is called? It is called? Proper fraction. And when the numerator is greater than denominator, it is called? Yes. And the combination of? Uh, proper fraction and natural number is called? Mixed number. number. Mixed numbers. Very good. So clap for yourself. I hope you all have enjoyed learning fractions. Okay. So in the next class, we will learn conversion of improper fraction to mixed number and mixed number to proper fraction. Improper fraction. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.